if you want to solve this question how would you approach it is uh, the question is a kind of weird so what we have is x plus one is equal to x so which value of x is actually going to satisfy this stuff right here some person would want to start by just dividing through by x okay so if you do that you're going to be having one of x divided by x plus one over x is equal to x divided by x okay so that this is equal to one plus one over x and of course is equal to one right here so that of course when you move this one to this side you're actually going to be having that one over x is equal to zero okay and then of course your x is eventually going to be equal to one over zero and some person may say that this is equal to infinity and then some other person may see that it is undefined okay okay but our focus is whether it is infinity or undefined is that actually going to satisfy the equation we are solving okay so if you go ahead to put infinity right here will that be equal to okay so when you have infinity plus one will that give you infinity okay so you, of course you see that that is actually going to satisfy that if the value of this is infinity and so another cool method to solve this it will be so let me write this x plus one is equal to x so another cool method to solve this will be for you to just go ahead to take so let me just call this method two okay will be to take the square of both sides and then of course you just go ahead to open this bracket so you're gonna be having x multiplied by x and that's x squared uh, plus two times x times one and that's two x plus one times one which is equal to one is equal to x squared okay and then of course this is actually going to cancel this so that you have that 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 and then at this point you want to move one to the other side so this is 2s is equal to minus 1 and then dividing through by the coefficient of x this you have that x is now equal to negative 1 over 2 okay so you can see this is very much interesting we've got two values of x and then we want to check how these values behave for the question we just saw and just like we checked before x plus 1 is equal to x if our x is equal to infinity okay we saw that infinity uh, plus one will still give you equal to infinity so this actually holds what what if x is equal to negative one over two just like we just got in the second method will that also be true for this val for this equation okay so let's check minus one over two plus one uh, will that be equal to one over two would that be equal to minus one over two so if you simplify this you see that negative one over two plus one will give you positive one over two and obviously you can see that this is not equal to negative one over two so you can see that the value of x that is actually going to satisfy the problem we are solving right here is equal to infinity so even when you want to draw the graph so let's say that this is the first equation okay y1 x plus one and then the second one uh, let's call that y2 equal to x so we want to find out their point whether they're going to be having any point of intersection so when x is equal to zero right here so this is where x y2 is actually going to be at point x and then at point zero right here so when uh, x is equal to zero y1 is actually going to be somewhere here so if here is equal to one so y1 is actually going to be here so when x is equal to one y1 will be equal to two okay so which is somewhere here so when x is equal to one y1 will be equal to two so we are talking about these points and then this y2 
will be equal to one okay so this is where it's actually gonna be okay and then when x is equal to two y one will be equal to three so let's say x is equal to two somewhere here and then y one will be equal to three somewhere so if we trace it it's actually gonna be somewhere here okay and then y2 is also going to be equal to 2 so which is somewhere here so of course when you draw this line you're actually going to be seeing that for x equal for y equal to x so this is actually going to be the graph for y2 which is equal to x and then this one right here which will go some some uh, something like this will be equal will be the graph for y1 which is equal to x okay uh, plus one and obviously you can see that they can only meet at infinity they don't have any point of intersection okay so clearly you can see that for x equals infinity x plus one is actually going to be equal to x okay so that is how you go about it let me have a thought in the comment section and then of course subscribe to our channel for more updates i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye